I will avenge you, father. I will save you, mother. I will kill you, father. I will review you, movie. That was dumb. Hi, everyone! It's me! Why do you try, Grant? Your intros are always really stupid. Hi, everyone. I don't know myself. Um, so, uh, hi, everyone. Um, uh, it's me, Grant the Movie and TV Guy. We're going to raise up popcorn with Grant. We are here to talk about a movie today, the first of two more reviews for today, and then we're going to call it a weekend. Uh, the first movie on this docket for today, because uh, movies and TV so we do here, is The Is. Huh. Focus, Grant, focus. Is The Northman. Uh, the Northman is directed and co written by Robert Eggers, who previously did um, the terrific uh, debut feature, The Witch. And his second feature, which I still think is his best, is the excellent The Lighthouse. Um, and what's The Northman about? Um, and who else is involved? Well, um, it is, The Northman centers on. Um, Prince Emilith, he is, um, the, uh, of, like, a Viking prince. It's basically the story, you know what it is? It's basically the story of Hamlet with Vikings. Um, it's about Prince Emilith. Um, his father, the king, played by Ethan Hawke, um, returns home from battle. Um, and, um, very, very quickly, um, while playing with his son, um, they go on, as my, as my buddy Brad Jones very aptly said, um, the craziest father-son camping trip ever, um, with a very strange, um, man played by Willem Dafoe, um, who shows him psychic visions of his family tree and the, the various bran branchings off that'll happen very shortly thereafter. Um, the king is brutally murdered by, um, his brother, flown there, played by Klaus Bang, and, um, he goes, um, to kill little Amalith as well, um, but Amalith flees, and his, and he is informed that they lost him, and that essentially he was taken by the current. He eventually, um, while, uh, becoming a, a brutal Viking, raping and pillaging various villages, he soon, um, he soon, um, remembers his mission, having previously forgotten it for a life of brutality, um, which he chants, which is the chant I opened the review with. He soon meets up with Olga, um, a, a slave woman played by Anya Taylor-Joy. He decides to pose as a slave, brands himself and decides to pose as a slave, to return to the palace of his uncle, who has since married his mother and had a young son, um, along with his cousin, who she has raised as her older son. Um, and upon there... He begins uh, b biding time as a slave for his destined battle with Flonir on uh, the gates of Hell, H-E-L, um, which is an active volcano um, that turns the earth into literally a pit of fire. And um, they will, they're destined to duel to the death. But various things get in the way, including a mother who likes her son maybe a little too much, um, played by Nicole Kidman, again, um, if I didn't mention it. But also is a brutal herself. Um, her various, uh, his uncle's suspicions, as well as the suspicions of his half brother, his young half brother, as well as his burgeoning love uh, for Olga, which might also take him on a new path of destiny. Will he go like? Will he choose the path of living a normal life happily, or will he choose his path of vengeance? Let the screaming and the sword battling and the action begin. So, the Northman is, um, that's not even the half of it. The Northman, I, I don't know if you could tell because I'm trying to keep a poker face. I loved this movie. I, this movie, I still think it's the best of Robert, Robert Eggers' three films, but all three of his films are fantastic, so that's really not saying much. It's literally the lesser of three just about perfect films. And what I love about The Northman is, Yes, it basically follows Hamlet, but the thing about it is, is that it does, by putting it in this Viking world, and also having um, the strength of the Anya Taylor-Joy character, Olga, which, by the way, she's phenomenal in this movie. Everyone's great in this movie. Um, I also should mention that Amalith is played by Alexander Skarsgård, who is terrific, uh, but the you really, really are wanting to follow this guy, and then along with that, the story is basically Hamlet, but because it's Robert Eggers... 
this is like hypnotically visually stunning. There are things that'll happen with cinematography. Sometimes in the daytime scenes, it's very brightly lit. In the nighttime scenes, it intentionally looks kind of like a fuzzy, almost monochrome black and white. We see um, these strange visions involving um, a sightseer played by a, a soothsayer played by Bjork in her return to film for the first time, I think, since uh, Dancer in the Dark. I'm pretty sure. And Lars von Trier. And the thing is, is like Klaus Bang is a great villain. Nicole Kidman is fantastic as basically the worst mother in the history of mankind. Uh, and she's fantastic in the film and genuinely kind of creepy and chilling. Um, and it, this, this shit's brutal. I mean, I mean, when I say like violence, I mean, I've seen a lot of violent shit in movies. I see just about every movie that they're going to be, I winced. Like there are a couple of things they do, especially with like dismemberments and what they do. And it's like, I'll tell you this. If you're not, like, if you don't like seeing movies where animals and small children die with, like, blood, don't see this movie. Do not see this movie. But, this movie is pretty amazing. Visually stunning. And it is action as story, do not get me wrong. And it's, it's very much not a subtle movie. It's about as subtle as a sword, a sword through the neck. But it's so awesome and it's i mean i know that sounds like lizard brain but so what it's awesome but it's an artistic kind of awesome it's a robert eggers kind of awesome it's the perfect kind of marriage of his oddball style and the blockbuster sensibilities of a studio film this is kind of his first big studio film and it's all there look uh i love this film i love the northman and there's not much more to say about it uh yeah you see it or maybe i should you know unsheathe my sword Bang! A five out of five stars for the Northman. This was just go see. Now I saw this movie in Dolby also, which is one of, outside of one Showtime is the only way to see this movie at my theater. And I'm telling you, the sound mixing in this. If you see you see have the option of seeing this in Dolby, do do um please do um all right. This would make like a perfect triple bill with like the last with the last duel and the Green Knight among recent like sword wielding epics that really are like art artistic and thoughtful. This is a really fun flick. Um, all right, and also like again, it's deep and not like I feel like it's not as character driven as his other two movies, and that's maybe it's a slight detriment. But again, minor criticisms. All right, for the overall like effect, the whole mood he's going for. Um. Anyway, moving on. So, um, trailer trash. Let's talk some trailer trash. Go through a lot of these. Uh, Bullet Train looks good. We've talked about it a bunch. The Bob's Burgers movie. This is, again, the newer trailer, but we saw it yesterday. We talked about it a bunch. Dark Train, The Multiverse of Madness. We've seen it in two weeks. We talked about it a bunch. Elvis looks good. Now we've already talked about it a bunch. Uh, Top Gun Maverick looks good. Talked about it a bunch. Nope. Looks good. Talked about it a bunch. Jurassic World Dominion. Good. Talked about it a bunch. Downton Abbey, A New Era. We are seeing it. On May 18th, so we're going to an early screening of that, and I'm really looking forward to it. Um, and then Men, the Red Band trailer for Men, which we also saw yesterday, as well as with Everything Everywhere All at Once. Looks good, but I'm getting kind of sick of it already. Um, was there shawarma? No, there was not. Um, Alright, we will be back uh, in a little while for a review of the Disney nature film Polar Bear. We will be back uh, further next week for a review of the Liam Neeson action flick Memory, as well as... The romantic teen romantic comedy Crush, starring Rowan Blanchard. Um, also, uh, when it comes on streaming, because it's looking like, or if it goes wide, I guess we will see if it goes wide. We will see Petit Maman. Um, we will see Petit Maman, but just maybe in, maybe in a couple months instead of this weekend. Uh, I know it came out this weekend, but it didn't come to here. Too bad. Uh, I, I do want to see it though. I really like Celine Sciamma, so we will see the film. I promise. Um, and then, almost made it. Um, for those wondering why I keep clicking a remote, um, I just got a Roku system and it's being kind of wonky. Sorry about that. It has like a timed, it times out after a bit. Alright. Um, yeah, so we'll go see that and then Doctor Strange, all that other happy stuff. Uh, that'll all be next time, and until next time... I'm Grant, the movie and TV guy. I see it all. I'm happy to share it with you. I love you all. I appreciate you all. I love how class is missed. I love you a thousand. Be kind to one another. If you like this video, give it a like if you want to. Give it a subscribe if you want to. Give it the bell. I don't know what it does, but that's what it's supposed to do. Or so I've been told. Want to find me elsewhere? 
reviews, lists, and other fun stuff, you can check me out um, on Letterboxd.com at Raise My Popcorn with Grant. Some of you already have, but even if you haven't, uh, take care of yourself, take care of your mental health. It's incredibly important. And I want to know down below, what did you think of The Northman? Did you like the movie? Did you hate the movie? you think my opinion is good? Do you think I'm full of shit? Comment below, let me know. And, um, yeah, until we meet again, we were all raised on popcorn. Make mine with extra butter. I'll catch you guys next time. Take care. See you in a bit.